There are 60 trillion cells in our human body, and 80% of them act under the control of the brain. When we are sleeping during the night, our brain is also taking a rest. So the 80% of cells act freely, and they are self-renewing and repairing at night. That is the reason why we should ingest enough nutrients for dinner. Thus, we are sleeping. Those 80% can get enough nutrients to repair themselves. Besides, when those 80% of cells work under the control of the brain, the GI is taking a rest. Our study results have also shown that nutrient absorption was faster and better at night compared with nutrient absorption during the daytime. Moreover, nutrients absorbed during daytime cannot be fully metabolized. Thus, we must reduce food intake during the daytime. When those 80% of cells are actively working, the GI is taking a rest. It is at night when the GI is working. Therefore, if we eat too much food during the daytime, it would put great pressure on the GI system. Once the GI begins to work, it will consume 70% of energy, and consequently only 30% of energy is left for work, which is the reason why we feel sleepy at noon and need a nap. After an afternoon nap, your GI is emptied, and you are energized again. Taking an afternoon break is not a good habit and will only shorten your lifespan. Just imagine if you work at 24 hour intervals normally, but now if you work twice in 24 hours, that means you live two days while the other people live one day. This is the reason. C. Diet principles for overweight or thin people. You'd better eat all three meals. Only when doing this will brain control on the fat metabolism can be initiated. The fat metabolism and regulation is all controlled by the brain. Without the control of the brain, fat cannot metabolize. Aside from a well-functioning brain, a well-balanced diet, as well as regular diet, biological clock can keep you in good shape. Among our club members, some of them were overweight or too thin before joining my club. But now they have gradually reached a normal weight. This topic will specifically address in my future lectures. If you want to regenerate and restore your GI system, our concluded principle is that you must take the GIC regularly, five before meals, five after meals, and five before you go to bed. Besides, you should also follow your basic diet based on the principles A, B, C mentioned above. People at different ages all need rejuvenation. But the rejuvenation of any organ is based on the regeneration of the GI system. After that, I will give you the specific plan for rejuvenation. Last but not least, let's say a few words on the contributions of this technology to human beings. The most prominent one is can eliminate GI intractable diseases, remove food remnants, enhance nutrient absorption, further improve the quality of and life, and prevent premature aging of other organs resulting from the GI disorders. Currently, $270 billion are being spent annually on the treatment of gastrointestinal diseases, which generally are chronic. They are different from an acute disease which can be cured in a short time with less money, but intractable GI diseases cannot be cured by modern medicine. So patients with these diseases have to take drugs every day and spend a lot of money every year. Thus, we can say the economy of expense on the treatment of intractable GI diseases is one of the biggest economies in the world. Thus, if we introduce the rejuvenation concept to the whole world, provide one-tenth of the total middle-aged and elderly people in developed countries require rejuvenation of gastrointestinal organs, which cost 10,000 USD for each person. The contribution to the total GDP would be over 6 trillion. So the GI rejuvenation can greatly influence the world economy. The economy regarded gastrointestinal rejuvenation will play key roles in the world economy since every human being has the demand for rejuvenation. If people over 35 years old all required rejuvenation of gastrointestinal organs, how many times of the current world economy is the economy regarded gastrointestinal rejuvenation? In that case, everyone will not buy the iPhone and instead save money for GICs to rejuvenate GI. Well, that is all for today. Thank you very much.